Welcome to Booktopia TV. I'm John Purcell. I'm delighted to be here with Kerry Stokes and Andrew Rule to talk about Andrew's book, Kerry Stokes, The Boy From Nowhere. Welcome. Good to be here. Now, Andrew, um, in your incredible career, writing career, you have tackled some of the seemiest sides of, of, uh, of, of writing of crime yeah. bosses and like. Um, it prepared me well for business. Well, that, that's what the, how nervous were you when you were dealing with someone who had real power and influence? I mean, these, these crimes have a certain power and influence. Just, are you dealing with someone who has, has far-reaching power and influence in Australia? Oh, I think Kerry Stokes uh, has far better manners than most of the crooks I've known. Uh, he probably has more power and influence, but um, I didn't really have any great problems. We got on very well. Uh, he tolerated me most of the time. And uh, he's a great natural storyteller, and I love listening to stories and, and rewriting them. So it's a, a symbiotic relationship, I guess. Mr. Stokes, um, you're a very private man. Um, how did this happen to you? How did you end up having a biography with me? Um, I was in a position where other people were writing biographies and starting to write and, and look to write stories about me of death. And I made a decision that. Um, uh, if that was going to happen, it would be better if I could have some say in who might do that. And through the process with Harper Collins and, and, and as publishers uh, to get to talk to Andrew and, and made the decision then that I would do it. It wasn't a decision made at one time where I said, I'm going to do everything and say everything and give it this way. It was over a period of time when we talked and I realised that if it was going to be creditable, I had to actually do something I hadn't done before, which is I'll give Andrew everything I knew about myself and I'll give him the tools to investigate and look at and, and, and confirm for himself the various things I was able to tell him. And making that decision, um, I then arrived at the final decision, which was I, if I did that, I couldn't read the book. That, that decision is extraordinary. It's a, it's a for, for Andrew, it, it's, a, it's a freedom, but also a kind of a Damocles sword hanging over it your, is, your head. It is. it is a sort of a freedom, but it, it is a Damocles sword because I'm not sure whether there's some things that he's going to see and go, well, that's not what I meant. And I didn't, I don't think I said that, and you know, that's wrong. And this is what's all ahead of us, really. So by January, he'll be throwing rocks at me. So how do you, how do you, how do you plan to read it? Is it, is it going to be? Um, on, on the holiday break, sitting back like like most Australians would be reading yeah, a book. Yeah, most probably. Uh, and, and when I'm skiing, uh, after a day of skiing, I'll spend some time and read the book. Um, and that was all part of a process. And, and the process which I finally arrived at with Andrew was, I want you to tell a good yarn, and I know that if I interfere with that, I'll compromise that. Not that I didn't trust judgments, but I knew for, I didn't want to compromise what could be a, a good story and, and um, I haven't read it but from what I've heard I think my decisions have been vindicated and I think he's told a very good story. It is a very brave, brave act for anyone to, to hand over all those other information and, and give it to a, a creative talent like Andrew to sort of to put, to put it together. And in your career um, there's been a lot of hard work. Did luck have a walk-on role every once in a while? Oh, of course so. I mean, I mean um, getting out of bed and not getting hit by a bus that's a the luck is all yeah. getting out of bed and getting hit by a bus. I mean, at the end of the day, there's obviously a degree of luck and or self or determination that happens. But um, I believe most of the time we determine our own luck. And what is unlucky in one instance, um, if you work hard enough, you tend to be able to make it lucky in something else. Thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you.